start with cardboard, either a cardboard carton like this, or some cereal box. I'm going to use this cardboard today. You can make your holder so that it closes this way, or so that it closes this way. Today I'm going to make it this way. And as you see, it closes like a book. And each side should be large enough to accommodate a sheet of paper. To cover your cardboard, you'll need some fabric or an old t-shirt. Wrap your cardboard with fabric to cover it. And a line of hot glue along this edge, like that. On the sides, tuck the fabric to the inside and place some hot glue. And it'll fold like a book. Punch a hole in the center of your card stock. If you're going to make your stand the other way, you'll want to put the hole in this side. With a ruler, draw some faint lines with a pencil. Punch holes across your card stock. As you make the holes, to make them a little bit larger, just wiggle the mat tack like that. I like to hang my earrings, two earrings, in one hole. Hang your earrings through the holes like this. Make a hanger. Like that. Place a drapery hook in the center, the sides. Hang your cards of earrings on the hooks. You can hang about a hundred earrings on a stand like this. If you have a lot of earrings, you can hang more than one card on one of these hooks. When you're at home, hang your rack on the back of your bedroom door. And if you made one twice as long, you could hang 200 pairs of earrings or necklaces. To hang necklaces, simply put a row of these hooks on your stand. If you're going on vacation, put a piece of paper in between so the earrings don't tangle. Close it up, tie a ribbon around it, and then you can just place it in your suitcase between your clothes.